it hasn't been long since I last um, told you guys that what we were doing, but we already found our first Drosera. Wow. I don't even know which species this is. It's massive. I haven't seen them so big before. Look, and they're all here in this uh, little area. It's even flowering. Wow. It's so, it's like very sandy and it's really dry as well, which is quite surprising to me. Cause you know, we grow all of our plants, uh, our drosera sitting in water. So the fact that they're flowering and growing to such big sizes here is really interesting. But I can't believe it, we literally just started and we already found our first drosher species. This is, this is really nice. Okay, we just came over to the side of the hill. See the beautiful beach. Tons and tons of flowering plants now. All the way up the mountain. All over this valley. Beautiful ocean and disgusting houses. Still got a bit of ways to go. We haven't even... Like we literally just started and I'm still so surprised at how dry the conditions are and how well the plants are doing like Look here's another one I'm not sure which drosera this is But look at this, it's literally growing in in rock It's literally just like sand You know, there's no water here <laughs> Look there, look how dry it is, it's just, just sand and they grow here. This is probably a winter grower. No clue which one this is actually. But it's such a surprise to see what they grow in. You know, we, we take so much time and care in ensuring that the plants grow in such wet waterlogged conditions. And here they are growing naturally where they're meant to be in literal sand and no water. It's insane. Okay, when we find some more drops, I'll let you guys know. We just got to our first intersection. The dam is over there. And the trails are really not that well um, mapped out. And this map doesn't help that much either. Everything's still quite fuzzy. It seems like we turned the wrong direction at the very beginning. But that's like the only way to go. And it doesn't say much else. But well, we met two British strangers and we all figured it out together. So they're heading to the same direction as us, so you might see them again. But we'll continue going, I'm trying to get to the river, you, you see. But it's really not labeled that well. So I'll come back to you guys when we get to, to the Adder Ladder, is what they call it. We just turned the corner, overlooking the whole valley, I guess, below us. Still have a, a lot to go. You can actually see how steep it is, but looking forward. So we're almost at, we're almost at the Adelada. And then the Adelada, we will take towards the Jeep track. And then from the Jeep track, we'll go to the river, which is the location of these plants so and there's our two British travellers that we met along the way okay we'll update you again soon hey guys so we just found some drostra glabrafs or glabripes I don't know how you say it however you want to say it but look at this little colony even back there in the shade it's quite interesting how they grow I'm not even sure if this is Glabrippus, but it's so interesting how they grow in, in the shade and um, we try to give them so much sunlight, they don't even need. So let me try to see the soil. So this soil is a little bit cooler, a little bit slightly damp, like still dry basically. And it's still, it's still like silt. Kind of um, very fine, very fine sand, but it's literally like silt. So this is quite, quite interesting to see that they really don't need half the stuff that we give them. 
Let's see, just blowing out Wilder. And now, not even 20 meters from those dross red lamp repairs or whichever they are, we have some other, maybe Alyssiae. Really have no idea what species these are. I'm not, so, I'm not used to um, growing these or seeing them like this. Might even be like sister flora or something. Wow. And they're right here at the base, all growing in the same disgusting soil. Look. It's literally just like, it's like salt. Very fine sand. And dry, so. Quite interesting. And you can see these ones here that are exposed to more sunlight are flowering sooner than the ones in less sunlight. Making some nice purple flowers here. And they're so healthy as well. Okay, so let's see some more towards the dam. I'll update you guys again. Okay, so I've come across, uh, across something that I, I think that may be quite interesting. You can see that there's water Sorry for the wind guys, but I think that this water that I've been hearing underneath the, water, the, the soil is what is keeping those plants lower down um, or water, you see. I think, I think that they have really deep roots and that this water is seeping down underneath those roots and keeping them alive. That's the reason why they're doing so well. But we're nearly nearly at the jeep track which is the river that we want to get to so we're almost there oh i just can't wait to get to that site so i i'll see you guys there bye so we just got to the top of adder's ladder and we've come across some beautiful glabry bears busy flowering and cysty flora here yeah. And there's a whole little colony of them here and i'm sure that it's the same situation as before where there's water tripping underneath because we just passed quite wet um wet whatever peat soil silt whatever the stuff is it's quite wet so you see here looks very very fine sand that beach sand almost dig a bit down starts getting more damp so that's quite a, a clear indication of um, the type of environment that they're growing in. But these are so happy. It's insane how happy these plants are. So it really is amazing. All of them here. So happy. So when we get to the other side, I'll let you guys know once again. Hey guys, so we got to the river. All this thick here is river. And we've come across some more flowering. What is this? this is slacky eye, I think. But look how big the flower is. It's huge. And it's super healthy. All these plants are so healthy. And there is also some Drosera glabripus. Right here. Oh, there's a spider web in the way. With a big uh, scary thing. Ooh. Please can we leave? Please can we leave? <laughs> oh, that sounds so ugly. <laughs> Makes me shake. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna go there anymore. Uh. But, wait. There, you can see Dross Rock Lovely Place. I'm not gonna go back there. Oh, it's gonna kill me. That thing is so ugly. Yeah. Ooh, but here, here bumps. is hilarious. <laughs> beautiful flowers and we're gonna go up now towards 10 about 10 minutes we should find some arugula and some more hilarious so i'll get back to you guys bye hey guys so we just walking up here and look what we found a chameleon a wild chameleon wow that's insane look at him he's changing color he's going a little bit green Wow. You know I got that on 
foam cord. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Just cut that out. No, I can't. You can. Bye, little chameleon. You're scaring him. Hi. How cool. So more glove repairs, there's the river. We need to go around because it's very steep go court. We're looking for a ridgeland now. Court has no clue what it looks like. 